Hey, what's up guys? I'm Barracks. Welcome back to Star Citizen. So, I hope my bear army is doing fantastic today. So I got some great information uh, for all the traders, cargo runners and stuff out there. Um, I went ahead and basically mapped every place you can buy from and wrote down, you know, how much everything was. And then when I went to sell it, which I used Port Alisar as my base selling point, and yeah, you can sell to other places, but I just figured, in my opinion, it's kind of like insanely tedious to go back and forth between every single place to buy from. So uh, this is just from these places to Port Alisar. What I did was, is I wrote down a little thing really quick that I will insert here. You could pause the video and uh, check it out if you want. Uh, I'm currently working on a Google Doc uh, for these prices and different things like that. Uh, you'll see here, um, uh, you'll, you'll see in the, the thing, you know, um, in the list that uh, I have the, you know, uh, lists of the places and then the item or cargo that you'd be purchasing for uh, however much it was there. Now I'm not 100% sure if these prices fluctuate. If they do, I, I would be sure that it would only be like buy a couple of, uh, of uh, credits. But uh, to the right of that, I also incorporated um, I basically did the math for you guys. So when it when it says like sell, if it just says one, it's pretty much even, or it's kind of like you could buy for 50 cents, but you make, you know, or rather 50, like 50% 50 of a credit. Uh, and, you know, um, but you could sell it for a whole credit. But I just basically rounded those ones. They're low, uh, not that big of a deal. Even just beginning, you can, you, you can get a little bit better cargo. So I just rounded those ones. Uh, for the sake. Uh, there's a couple in there that you see without any sell prices. Um, I tried selling those to um, Port Olisar, but I can't. I, I don't know why, and I believe it's bio waste and scrap. Uh, as far as the, I believe it's chlorine, I don't know what happened to it, but I bought it. I went there to sell it, and it wasn't there. So I don't exactly know what happened. I, I know, I think there was some glitch or something that I was talking about where your, your cargo either was disappearing or falling out of your ship or something. That might have been what happened. But, uh, I mean, I basically went around uh, and, like, I would assume that that would have happened to all my cargo because I had bought everything. Like, <laughs> I went to each place before I went to Alasar and just bought one of everything from every station. The only place I did not map was uh, Kellen, just so you guys know. Um, that will be part of the list too. I will incorporate that as well. Um, I hope you guys uh, appreciate this, um, you know, taking the work out for you guys and stuff so you can see what the max profit is. So what, I, what you see next to sell is the profit you're going to make. Um, or at least roughly within a couple of credits, if anything fluctuates or varies as far as the economy goes. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys and let you know that basically uh, I will have that uh, document up. I will probably post it in this video. I will just edit it and throw it in the description for you guys as well. Um, you know, so you, you guys have a reference. And then I'll update that as it goes along uh, later on uh, if they change the prices of anything or, you know, if, if anything changes and stuff, I'll try to keep that as up to date as I can for you guys so all the traders can, you know, um, kind of have a decent reference of, you know, what to buy and where to go uh, to do certain things. My suggestion is, you know, um, 
if you guys, I mean, it, it's a little bit harder to make uh, a decent amount of money in smaller ships like an Aurora or, you know, may, maybe an Avenger or something like that. But, I mean, if you have, like, a Cutlass or just, like, anything like that with, you know, a, a decent cargo space or something like that, you could definitely make uh, a killing. You could definitely make a good amount of money. I started off on that since most of my other ships aren't in the game. I ended up basically um, doing stuff with my Cutlass for a while, and then I switched over to my Starfarer um, because it has a bigger, a lot bigger cargo. And then I ended up like starting out buying hydrogen, and then after that, I think I went to um, fluorine, I believe it was something like that, and it was like triple the profits. Uh, so. I ended up doing that, and uh, I don't know if that will help you guys out, but, you know, if you're just kind of getting started, you want some money, you want to buy some gear, some weapons, uh, you know, different things like that, um, yeah, I would say grab some hydrogen, and then uh, after you get some money, um, then, you know, kind of move over to uh, fluorine, and then, you know, you can reference the list or, you know, rewind the vid so you can see, you know, the, uh, you know, major profiting stuff, and, you know, things like that. I mean, it's a lot more expensive to make the bigger profit of filling your cargo hold and stuff, depending on how big your cargo hold is or if you're rocking a caterpillar or whatever. But, I mean, you could literally make a couple hundred K, uh, depending on your cargo, with uh, some of the bigger and high profit uh, stuff. But, uh, anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope uh, that this was helpful. If it was, or you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I mean, please feel free to uh, leave them in the uh, comment section below, and uh, just let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'll do my best as quickly as I can to kind of tediously work through the Google Doc and get all this documented and stuff like that. Until then, I, I'm, I'm sorry, because there's a million things going on. Um, just reference the video uh, for right now, and then I'll get that up as soon as possible, and then you can kind of save it so you can, you know, keep pulling it up for yourself or, you know, however you want to do it. But um, on that note, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, you guys have been uh, tremendously helpful uh, and uh, supportive, and uh, I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate that. I want to welcome all the new subs and uh, just say, uh, you know, keep the love coming. I, I greatly appreciate it I'm not just saying that i i really do appreciate each and every one of you guys and um uh until next time guys uh, i will see you guys in the next video so take care all much love and i will see you then later all